Hey there folks and welcome to another Factorial Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And in this spotlight we are going to be covering the localized charging mod. Uh, now I have spotlighted a few mods, uh, maybe it was this one under a different name uh, quite a long time ago, it was several years ago at this point, so I think it's time to do another one and uh, I really quite like this one. So what this does is this adds uh, the ability to charge uh, things like, like power stuff such as your armor or spedertrons, etc., uh, via the power network. Uh, and then also it does add a electric car, an electric tank, and an electric locomotive as well. So I think that's kind of a nice addition um, to go with the mod. Uh, so let's take a look at exactly what it adds. Um, we have multiple different levels of charging poles here. So we have a charging pole uh, that does 2.5 megawatts a second. Uh, and even that one is fairly expensive for a power pole. Um, so it's not like this is incredibly cheap or something. Um, and then the next one up is double that, and it's more expensive and then requires the previous version. All these require the previous version. Uh, the next one is double that at 10 megawatts a second. And then this one is 20 megawatts a second. Um, and of course, previous versions, and this one requires um, some other stuff as well. So there's those. Uh, now, it also does add the electric locomotive, which is fairly expensive. Uh, and then also the electric car, uh, all of this is taking some modules and then uh, the electric tank as well. Okay, so that's uh, the actual items the mod adds. Now let's, uh, I wanna demonstrate how this works. So I have an energy source here, I have some power poles and then I've put down uh, this localized one at 2.5 megawatts. Um, so if I run up here in my power armor, I have um, some shields here, battery, roboports, and if I run close enough, you'll see it's shooting out, uh, you know, an electric arc and charging me. And not particularly quickly. Um, if we do multiple of these, um, it, they do kind of stack up, so you can do two at once. Alternatively, you could just do a higher level one. Um, and you can see it's slowly charging my batteries. Now, if we take, say, a much stronger one, uh, one that's like three times that, um, or even more than that, four times that, uh, the level three power pole, it even has a longer reach, so you can see how far this reaches. Um, if we do that, you can see how quickly this is actually charging my battery. Now, keep in mind, this does take quite a bit of energy. You know, this is taking a steady 20 megawatts of power, so you do have to be mindful of the amount of power you are able to provide. Um, but in general, I think this is just a really cool feature um, in mod that, that I would actually like in vanilla, uh, the ability to, you know, when you run into your base after combat or building and stuff and your power armor is drained or Spider-Tron or what have you, to be able to just like stand in your electric grid and get power kind of makes sense in my mind. Um, so there's that. Uh, same type of deal would work with the Spider-Tron, of course. Um, so I've put some shields, roll port, and battery in the uh, equipment slot here. And this one, this actually seems to interestingly not be charging. Um, it might not work on Spyrotrons yet, I think. Um, so, actually, yes. Um, <laughs> I'm now realizing this. I had to download a older version back, the newest version, which is, um, like, brand new. Uh, it caused an error on load for me, so I had to download one that was, like, 10 months old, and I think that one might not have Spyrotron capability, although it should. Because um, it's odd, because these will work. So these are not being charged, to show you. Um, they're not being charged because there's nothing to actually hold the energy. Uh, same with the tank here. Um, but what you can do is if you put batteries in the grid, then it's obviously going to be charging the batteries. And that's what it's doing here um, with these. So you just need to actually put the batteries in here. Um, and then they'll charge up and away you can go here. Same with the locomotive. So I'm not entirely sure why the Spider-Tron is not working, uh, as I've done all that. Um, and then if we go ahead and take, so, so this one, if I go ahead, uh, th there's actually not, um, so the grid is over here. Um, if I just fill this with a ton of batteries here and we use the strongest um, charging, the 20 megawatts a second one, uh, you can see here that this thing is charging really quite quickly. So it's actually, and these are level two batteries as well. But again, keep in mind, this is gonna put a pretty heavy power drain on your factory while this is happening. Uh, but this is the other, I actually really, really like the locomotive part of it because, um, you know, there's electric locomotive mods where you may have to run like special rails or power poles or something. Um, but this one's nice because it doesn't require you to fuel all your stations. You just have to drop one of these by your stations, which would probably have power anyway for the inserters. 
to load or unload the train. And then when it pulls in, as long as you have enough batteries for it to make its journey, which I would assume this certainly does, um, then you can just have it pull in, get charged while it's there, and uh, go with that. And this thing is fast, man. Look how fast that was. <laughs> this thing is super fast. It took a little bit of battery, not a ton. Um, so this thing is really, really quick as well. Um, so it can cover more distance quicker, obviously. And uh, yeah, so I am a little stumped on the spider charm. My guess is that perhaps... Um, that perhaps it just doesn't have the capability yet on the version I had to download. Hopefully the uh, dev sorts out the newer version not working. Uh, but there you go. That is the mod. If we look at the tech here really quick, um, scroll through here. I'm not entirely sure what it will be named. Uh, so here we go. So we have the railway and then we have wireless energy distribution, um, which is just actually going to unlock all the pulls. So you do get access to them all really early, but they're obviously quite expensive. Um, the later ones, you wouldn't necessarily be able to make them at this point. And then the electric trains as well, you get pretty early on. And I would imagine that the respective research is, um, so this is actually separate. So this one is going to require military, whereas this one requires blue. So you can actually get the electric one before the normal tank, which is kind of interesting. And then the same would be for the car here. It's a little more expensive, but you can get it at the same time. So you go, folks. There's the mod. Uh, last thing to look at is the settings. There are none here. Uh, so hopefully you found this helpful and, uh, you know, use it. If, if you didn't, I, I think it's a really cool mod. Um, definitely some good, good features in there. And as always, there is a link in the description to the mod portal where you can check this out. And if you have any questions, thoughts, do leave them below. If you found it helpful and enjoyed it, a like is much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Keep up with notifications um, for all future content. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.